Hey guys, Mix here, and in today's video, we are doing something pretty exciting. As you guys might be able to tell from the title and thumbnail, I don't even know if this video is going to be going up because I don't know. All right, so I'll just say it. Today, we're going to be going to check out a uh, possible project car. So you guys uh, saw probably that video from like a couple, like maybe like a month or two ago, saying that, you know, I was pretty interested in maybe doing a project car sometime in the future as like maybe a little side build, little restoration, little series type thing. And... I found a perfect candidate, so I've been messaging the guy. It is a pretty good deal, I think, for what it is. Definitely an interesting car, that's for sure, because the car does have a little bit of a twist on it, which you guys might see, might not, I don't even know. The car could be a nightmare. And I want a car that's gonna give me a challenge, you know, to build and fix everything, but I don't want something that's gonna lead me you know, just become a big money pit or something like that, you know? So I'm going to try and record what I can. Uh, I don't want to record too much because, you know, I don't want to invade the guy's privacy or whatever, but the car is a stick shift, which is really exciting. I've been wanting a stick shift for a while. I've driven stick shift. It's been a long time since I really have, and I've only really driven it a handful of times in my entire life. So uh, I'm going to bring one of my friends with me. He drives a stick shift Mustang every day, and he'll be able to like feel it out and everything and uh, make sure everything's feeling right. So guys, with that being said, uh, let's start heading out. Like I said, we're just going to be checking it out tonight. And uh, if everything checks out, hopefully tomorrow we'll be uh, taking delivery. I'm going to have to get a towed just because it's too far to legally drive home. And if this deal does go through, um, once again, none of this would be possible without you guys. So seriously, just thank you so much in advance if this deal does go through. So I don't, know, I don't want to get too much high expectations or anything like that because... The car does need some work, but I keep babbling. I'm just kind of nervous and excited. I don't know, but uh, let's get on the road right now and check out this future project car. Alrighty guys, so it is actually the uh, next morning after last night when we went and checked out the vet. Uh, we were checking it out and everything, really going through it, seeing what it's really going to need. And uh, I went ahead and I pulled the trigger on it and I, uh, I bought that thing. But I had to get it towed home, so that's the reason why we didn't buy it uh, last night. And also, I didn't have the money last night, I just wanted to check it out, make sure it's not, you know, a complete, you know, junk box or whatever. But it does run pretty good, she's got some power on it. Um, obviously gonna need some work, but that's what the project is, and I'm really looking forward to uh, wrenching on this thing with my friends and whatever, and driving in summer nights with the T-tops down. I don't know, it's gonna be fun. I just have a bunch of visions for it, but restoring that thing is gonna be really, really fun, and it should bring in a lot more content. And it's not like any of the go-karts or, you know, anything uh, is going to be gone for whatever reason. This is just a whole other topic that's being added into the uh, channel because I've always loved cars. I loved cars before dirt bikes and I both have equal passions for, you know, motorsports like go-karts and stuff and cars. So I figured it'd be uh, pretty fun to bring in a whole another realm into the channel. We're definitely going to learn from this car, that's for sure. Um, I mean, I go to school for automotive, so that should help. <laughs> but I can't wait to have things on the road and safe and good to go and looking mint. It's going to be fun. But tonight, uh, I have the towing all figured out. So we're going to be going there uh, later tonight around the same time we went last night, paying the guy and uh, picking her up and bringing her home. So what I just got to do is run to the bank, uh, take out the money, and then basically just wait until later and uh, we'll have ourselves a new Corvette. So with that being said, I'm going to go run to the bank right now and then just a waiting game until later. So I'll see you guys then. All right, just sign the paperwork.
right now the uh, front of the vet is scraping on the ramp so we're just gonna move it to this little like hill type thing and uh try and reduce the angle for loading it on a little bit more to the right So guys, I know it's pretty dark right now, sun's setting, but she's home. So here she is, my 1974 uh, Chevrolet Camaro. Camaro, Camaro, Chevrolet Camaro. She is definitely a uh, a project, but it's definitely gonna be fun. It's it's got a race trans in it already. It's got work done to the 350 in it. It's a five speed, so oh my gosh, this is gonna be so awesome. I'll take a seat in it real quick. Ugh. I know the lighting's pretty bad. So that's a little bit better, but man, this thing, definitely one of a kind. You guys might notice that this is actually not a 74 body. This is actually a 80 body. Honestly, for the deal, I got this thing for 3,500 bucks. It, it's well worth it. I mean, obviously it does need work. The paint is starting to go pretty bad. I mean, Mechanically, it needs some work. All the gauges inside don't work. One of the blinkers don't work. It needs new tires. It's splitting pretty bad on all of them. Paint definitely needs work. I do love the color though. It's a coupe, so that's pretty neat. Got the sick little spoiler like molded in it. It's, it's, it's really awesome. And I really haven't seen many Corvettes with this front on it. And I was doing some research. I think this is like a Daytona uh, Corvette because with these like little fins and stuff. So definitely pretty cool. Under the hood. There's the Chevy 350. She needs a filter on her, but she's all there. She runs. She's got bigger heads, uh, a Holly carb, race clutch, race trans, the whole nine. And I couldn't be more happy with it, honestly. All right, so just for you guys, it is getting uh, pretty dark. I'll go ahead and just wrap up the video here, but just thank you guys so much for just continuing to watch the videos and just really making this happen. Cause without you, like I said earlier, None of this would be possible. But I want to give a massive shout out to uh, my friend and his dad for getting that thing trailered home for us. They were a massive help. So if you guys are watching this, thank you so, so much. But like I said earlier, this is going to be a really, really fun project. And I just can't wait till when she's all good to go. Registered on the road. We'll be cruising to car shows and whatever. And T-tops down in the summer. It's just going to be fun. Wind flowing. I don't know. But the little restoration series will be coming at you guys soon. Uh, I just got that, that part that I was talking about. For the NASCAR, that's probably going to change this thing pretty good. I just got it in today, so we're going to be working on this. Uh, we've got a ton of stuff going on. I'm working on something pretty big right now, so you guys will see that soon. Uh, but with that being said, I'm going to be ending off the video here. Follow my social medias. They will be on the outro of this video, Instagram, and Snapchat. I use the most. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, share if it's with the channel. <music>
I've always wanted a cammed car. I was gonna cam my truck, but if this thing is cammed, so that that would be pretty exciting, honestly. <laughs> a cammed Corvette for 3,500 bucks, that's pretty sick. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to uh, ask you guys that question. You know, if some of you guys do know, that would be a massive help. But uh, I guess with that being said, now I'm gonna be ending off the video. So thanks for watching.